football planet. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera. For more on this, let's uh, speak to Daphne Weisham. Daphne is the director of the Sustainable Energy and Economy Network. She's joining us from Portland in Oregon in the United States. Good to have you with us, Daphne. So the U.S. study uh, highlights uh, temperatures spiking. It highlights a record melt of the Arctic seas. Pretty uh, sobering information. It is sobering, and in fact, the Arctic ice is retreating at a rate of over 1% a year. Uh, what this means is essentially our sort of natural air conditioner in the North Pole is disappearing. This is affecting uh, ocean temperatures. It's also af affecting weather patterns. And as your uh, report just mentioned, it's affecting the entire uh, web of life, everything from the polar bears to human beings. Yeah, uh, uh, Daphne. In fact, uh, Gerald's report showed us how, uh, for some people, changes aren't just, in fact, numbers, but there are very real changes happening on the grounds and affecting people's livelihoods. Yeah, and one of the things that happens when you have the melting of the Arctic ice or any glacial ice or uh, Greenland for that matter is that what you're going to have is the albedo effect, which is where essentially the, uh, the, the heat from the atmosphere and, and the sun's direct light is now no longer being reflected out into space, it's being absorbed. So you have a sort of a feedback mechanism that's now warming things at an even faster pace. In fact, right now, we are living through a rate of warming that we haven't seen in 65 million years. Uh, it's hard to grasp just how fast that climate change, uh, how fast that climate change is occurring and what it means. Right, and um, what about for the species the and ecosystems? I mean, will species be able to adjust at the same rate or does this just mean extinction for many species? Well, you know, the, the thing that's most worrisome is um, in addition to the change in climate, we're also seeing the acidification of the oceans and that means uh, you, you will see rapid extinctions in the oceans due to ocean acidification. And in the Arctic region in particular, we're seeing uh, a meltdown in, in uh, a wide array of species, uh, beginning with uh, the, the plankton and continuing, as your, as your report mentioned, all the way up to the polar bear. Right. Um, the concern is also that as the permafrost melts, methane could potentially be released also from the methane hydrates uh, at the ocean floor. Uh, and this again will have, another, have a, a, the effect of another feedback loop uh, warming our planet even further. Uh, Daphne, let me ask you uh, just finally one more question because we've seen countless uh, reports, we've seen countless uh, international conferences on climate change, Obama as well making his own pledges. I mean, will this report make a difference and are you satisfied uh, so far with uh, the action that's, uh, that's taken by the U.S. government? No, I'm not satisfied with the action that Obama has taken. He's taken a small step forward, and his, of course, his ties are somewhat his uh, hands are somewhat tied by uh, Congress. However, there's a lot more that he could be doing. He should not be exporting coal from the Pacific Northwest, for example. He should not be pushing uh, fracking and export of natural gas. He should stop drilling offshore as he's planning on doing in the Arctic and uh, around the uh, U.S. coast. You can't simultaneously address the climate crisis and continue with business as usual. All right, Daphne, thank you. We need a massive you. investment in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Thank you very thank much, you. Daphne Weisham, for speaking to us from Portland. Here with Al Jazeera, still to come, the sports news, and you'll find out why this referee in Senegal stopped a league match. Details coming up.